Say hey! Good. Stay low. Say hey! I think our relationship is pretty good. All 130 of them out there, I think I think we have a pretty good relationship. They don't have no tees or nothing. Yeah, I'm not holding for you either. Why not? You kick my hand. I ain't kicked your hand. Kick a football, quit crying. Look at the cry baby. <laughs> All the time picking at me and calling me blue and old school and Moses. All right, old school. What are we doing? That's kind of like I would do them, probably. I graduated from high school in Tullers, from Mississippi. And I went to college and played there one season. Spent a tour in Vietnam, got out of the Army sometime in 72, got married, and raised a family. And uh, this conversation got started about me going back and kicking. And two weeks later, I bought a pair of shoes and football. And built a goal post at my son-in-law's house and tried out February the 17th of 2010 and out kicked three of their recruited kickers that day. So I'm here. Proud of it. Everybody was asking, you know, about my education and, and I didn't want it to be focused on Alan Moore getting an education. I it was more focused on the kids not giving up on theirs like I did in 1968. Going in the military is not a bad thing, but I never went back to college. I see kids that have dropped out for a semester and you know they'll tell you that we're gonna come back, you know, next year, and next year never gets here. I, I really didn't accomplish anything that I had wanted to personally, but it, I accomplished the things that I wanted to by being there with those kids and you know, letting them know that not to give up on their education and not to just give up on anything in life. There was a lot of people who didn't believe that I could do this. I believed from day one that I could. Every time, every shoe I've ever bought, as soon as it come out of the pack, it got written on the shoe. And if I had not believed and believed in myself, I wouldn't be here today. It's just, it's just like our football team now. If they give up one semester, they're not gonna come back. So they need to stay in there. How our players believe in themselves. Nobody can prepare them but themselves. It's amazing. I never dreamed it would be this way. I'm, I'm glad that I can bring this to the kids. I think one of my grandkids told me, so, well, granddaddy, you know, you're the oldest guy that's ever scored a point in the history of football. That means a lot to me, but I could not have done it without those other players on the team. I mean, it's kind of like a team thing. I may have kicked the extra point, but I had 10 other players up there blocking for that extra point. I'm happy with it. I haven't had any disappointments with the kids at all.